Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. So in this one, I'm going to talk about Open Props, which is a CSS framework which uses uh, CSS custom properties uh, for styling. Now it is very similar to Tailwind and different as well. It also has uh, you know just-in-time compiling where you use only the things. I mean, you keep only the things that you use uh, while you're building it, and uh, anything else that you, you you're gonna ignore, and your CSS will be uh, pretty slim in that case. Now, uh, what is the uh, why are we discussing this, and uh, when there is tailwind, why do we need this? So tailwind is uh, is good for somebody who is coming from a you know, backend uh, background. They want to throw up some you know quick mockup and uh, get done with it. Uh, it's it's very useful for them. But for someone like me who is a front end developer from the beginning, uh, I like to write CSS. And uh, since I have been using Tailwind, I, I kind of forgot some of these uh, properties, CSS properties. Uh, last time it happened that you now I was writing font hyphen bold instead of font weight colon bold. Now, uh, Open Props keeps you uh, grounded to what you have been you know, uh, doing from the beginning, writing CSS on your own. Um, but the advantage of uh, using open props is that pretty much everything has a variable. You just have to put it here and it will start working. Now uh, let's quickly go through the site which is also using open props. Now everything has has a you know um, custom property like these colors are having these uh, custom properties. So dash dash gray uh, dash zero is this one and then uh, nine is this one so you, you get a range of colors um, and uh, so there, there are many colors it's very similar to tailwind uh, tailwind also has this and there are some you know uh, gradients and uh, noise shadows uh, aspect ratio this is new um, you, it's very useful in case of uh, images uh, the typography there are three kinds it uses the you know uh, system uh, font stack, which is good. You can also use other other custom fonts if you want. Now easing, uh, which is which is very interesting. Easing is also taken care of with uh, these properties. So applying easing will be uh, pretty easy. Uh, so transitions. These are some animations. Uh, slide left, slide down. So bounds so there are many uh, animations available which can be applied um all right uh, sizes and borders there is blobs this is new <laughs> if you want to use some blobs you can you can choose one of those that's nice uh z index interesting there are one to five and then there is one important which is which has a huge number i don't know why Anyway, so media queries is uh, pretty advanced, and it also says that you know only available in some plugin. Uh, so maybe in the future you can use this. So this is uh, open props. It's kind of like you know you define uh, a variable at the top in JavaScript, and then you use it in any function. So I'll show you radius two uh, in the in CSS here somewhere. It should be there somewhere. Uh, Okay, let me... okay, radius is here, radius 2. So uh, here, border radius, this uh, var dash dash radius hyphen 2 will be replaced with 5 pixels. That's how it is. Um, so it, 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 has, it has many things here. I think everything is here because it uses, the site uses the entire open props. Uh, so in order to try this, there is an easy way to do this and there is a... Uh, uh, post CSS way which is uh, which uses just-in-time compiling where you can use uh, you can keep only the variables that you use uh, that way your uh, CSS is small uh, you can uh, other sorry, other properties will be ignored that's an interesting one but we'll try the easy one first so let me go here I'll use the CDN now I'll copy this I don't have uh, Swell kit installed, so I'll do that. Uh, npm init next. 
to use the skeleton one and uh, I'll use npm install I'll also do uh, serve this npm run dev okay let's see if it is serving F11 if we go here refresh it is serving I'll zoom in a little bit now going back to the code this is the one I have it open already I will uh, use the link tags which uh, gets the style uh, from these uh, links uh, I use these here and I refresh and the style changed a li little bit I mean I think it, it applied the normalize CSS because there is one normalizing thing as well so that will be applied and if you look at uh, this open props dot min dot css it has a lot of things it has actually more than 300 lines of code which is not good but uh, we'll be using uh, you know um, just in time compilation as well so that way we can reduce that for now just to try this i'm using it I'm using all of them now let's go to our index where this is defined so i'll, I'll create maybe a layout yeah create a layout dot slot I have a slot oh I think there is a spelling mistake or something yeah okay we have that and uh, here itself I will uh, make sure um, the body body has a margin of zero I'm hoping it works and then uh, if there is a padding we make that zero as well All right, so let's see if we can apply that uh, styling here itself. Background, uh, we had a gradient, right? Gradient. Uh, let me look at this site where we had gradient. Yeah, gradients, let's apply fourth one. So it is gradient four. And it applied nice okay uh, now let's come back here I'll remove this and just have the h1 I'll have style tag here now I'll do for the h1 to display our background color variable uh, we saw gray We'll use eight maybe nice we'll use color similarly variable mustache gray one which is kind of white awesome now this is uh, why is this having okay let me zoom out a little bit okay This has some extra spacing on there. Why is that? Mm, not quite sure what's happening here. Okay, let me let me make it in line. Display in line block maybe. Okay, now it is fine. I'll apply a padding as well. Um, use the variable just as size one is that even a prop I don't know uh, yeah, yeah size is a okay, let's use size two okay it is applying size four yep yep it is getting it so I'll use uh, 
two of them. So top and bottom, I'll keep it less size three, and then uh, left right, I'll keep that. Okay. So if I uh, go to layout, and then I'll have a division around it. And to that division here, give the classes display grid. So these things, you know, display and everything doesn't have any custom book because it's like one line. On, why would you need anything? Display grid and then uh, place items. Center. And uh, we might need a height as well. Height 100 VH, which is the height of the screen. So we have it in the middle. Uh, this looks good. So I'll, I'll change the font size here. Somehow, font in each semicolon. Font size variable dash dash font uh, size, I think, six. Oh, let me see what is font size. Okay, font size zero zero two. Eight. Okay. Yep. Eight is three point five gram. What I'm using is six, which is two point five. Let me use eight. Hmm. Okay. It's, that's not too much, I think. Yeah, I wanted something like big. Maybe I can use size here. Let's see. Uh, let's say instead of this, I'll use size 13, maybe. Which will be huge, I think. But who cares? Okay. Uh, let me use 8, 10, awesome, yeah, now I'll also apply a shadow here, uh, box shadow, variable, plus dash, dash shadow, 4, awesome, it has a shadow now, now this is very interesting, uh, I kind of like how we can you know use all the things here all right this is how you use open props so let's look at how we can install um, this in uh, uh, using post CSS uh, just in time uh, now I'm gonna go to this and uh, app not HTML and I'm gonna remove those when I remove it uh, it's gonna go back to uh, the you know unstyled mode I think yeah uh, we still have some styles applied some of them are not there now let's go here go to get started and uh, let's see how we can install it using post CSS um, yeah just in time so uh, for this to work I think we have to use Svelte add method now when we were installing this npm install I think there was yeah there was a link for Swell tag. We can copy that. That was while initializing. I'll just paste it here. Okay. Now let's go to post CSS and uh, copy this command. And we'll stop the server and apply it here. So npx swell add latest post CSS. Okay, once that is done, we'll have to do npm install again. And uh, now we can do npm install JIT props once this is done. I'm clearing this and install OCSS JIT props. Okay, it's done. Now they have this method here uh, we have to import in post css config.js so good thing is 
so I'll add adds that file we'll just uh, paste it here and then we have to use inside plugins we have to mention this so after auto prefixer we use this I think that's that's it um, now let's go back to our site uh, let's serve it npm run dev cannot find module in open prop okay so i have to install open props npm install open props okay now it should find it we got it uh, now here if you observe what's happening uh, in the styling part um, it it will not have everything so in the root you see that gray 1 is there gray 8 is there size 3 size 4 size 10 and all those things are there which are which I have been using right so other things some of them are added but it's it's pretty small why uh, this is what uh, just in time means now I'm using size 10 let me do something let me add a paragraph uh, I'll use size 1 or size 0 let me go to index I'll add a paragraph here something here okay and for that paragraph I'll use the font size as a uh, uh, variable font size um, 4 maybe right font size 4 is not used let's see uh, did we get it here yes font size 4 right so we got that now let's apply a border radius to this border radius variable stash radius Uh, six or something ah, that's too much but it did add the radius right so let's apply something like two maybe yeah two is enough so it added five pixels of radius so only the things that we mentioned will be used here and even like when you build it npm run build uh, you can see that it's it's not gonna use all the I mean it's, it's gonna use only build it's in app output client app assets pages index dot okay uh, let me go here output client pages assets pages layout dot this is the style there is one more yeah this is the one I think so this is like one KB and it uses shadow color shadow strength and then uh, size 3 so all the things that we actually used so those are here so when you build it uh, it will be shipped with this CSS all right okay this is how it works um, so try this guys open props this is interesting and let me know what you built thanks bye bye